And you can hear it in the way I talk And you can see it in the way I walk And you can tell by the way I drive You can tell by the way I fly And you can see it in the way I dress And you should know this by the way I finesse Oh, you can see it way before I come and gotta say where I'm from. Don't act dumb. I'm from Oakland. Did you get hit? Nah. Hey, get your phone. Whose phone is that? Whose phone is that? Yo, he busting at this nigga. Hold up. Yo, get down. Get low. Get low. Get low. Get low. Hey, yo, R1, baby. Y'all wanted me to pull it out, so I'm out riding it today. I'm headed in route to go down to San Leandro to go meet with my partner Jay. Also with Jeff, we're gonna pull his Hellcat out and we're gonna meet with the Manip Max. So we about to head down this freeway, looking at a clean Gallardo, probably gonna do a track day at Button Willow or something. Uh, some of these bikes out here just came back from the memorial service of Rolling Hills. One of the East Bay Dragons founding members or their president, I think their active president, he just passed away. So that's what all these bikes are doing on the freeway. But as we uh, mob through Oakland, uh, we get into the spot. We're going to meet up with Jay and Jeff. And then we're going to wait for Minute Mac to get off. So with inspiration from last weekend, when we went, hit the back roads, had a good amount of fun. So in those back roads, we decided to go ahead and take them back to the other part that we didn't go to because my car was too low. So we're going to go hit up the back roads a little bit. We got the Mustang with us. We got Jeff with the manual Hellcat Challenger. And then we're just waiting on Manip to show up. Um, I'm going to also take this opportunity to do a car review on his Mustang. Um, <clears throat> we know it's basically the king of the streets right now in stock form. So we're going to take it to go do what it was actually meant to do. Straight Line is a killer car and it has been putting in work in these streets. Um, I just wanted to see how the thing feels in the back roads and um, Manip's been showing interest on figuring out what the car is really all about. So instead of me busting him down with hella science and giving him the numbers and all the analytical situations that don't mean shit unless you see what it's all about on the road, we're gonna do it on the road so that he could check that out. Um, so this should be pretty cool. I rode the bike over here or whatever, but um, we're gonna go ahead and like I said, jump in the cars and we're gonna mash out. So we're just waiting on him to show up. Once he shows up, we'll be good to go. So as I finish up um, putting some cameras on this thing, we're micing it up, gonna have some good stuff inside. Jeff's gonna have a camera and I'm gonna go first person. We're gonna put the head mount on and here comes the Mac. Uh, I'm gonna put, yeah, woo. Oh man. Look what we got, look what we got. We got the Mac. So 2020 GT500, so far it's been the king of the streets. He's been running modified, non-modified, anything and everything. This thing has been taking names. He's been enjoying himself, but you know what the car is made to do. It's made to drive. It's made to drive and he's been driving the hell out of it, but we're just gonna take it through a little bit of the the windy things now what's funny is because i'll show y'all a picture of it right up here um back in the day not even back in the day a couple of months ago i was rolling through uh oakland and i just saw this red mustang i said damn that's that's red i like the red that the fords come with right but then i was looking at the back bumper and i'm like hold up cuz i'm like hold up cuz i was like that's a little different right and then i saw him just getting off work wearing the same jacket and so i hit the i hit the gram i say yo who know of a red GT500 in the town with the OG driving it. And so then, so the story goes, Mike encountered him on the freeway and he ran Mike's shit, caught Mike slipping. Mike hit me and was like, yo, I just got ran by seemingly a Mustang that was hella pushing. And I said, hey, was it red? He said, yup. I said, you ran a GT500. Mike Googled it, checked it out, and he put up the Instagram, try to figure out where he was at. And then yada, 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 you see how the story goes. And there goes, this is how we got acquaintance with the Mac. So he has a GT. You say what up? So was the birth, my nigga. So was the birth. So was the birth of the legend of the Manip Mac. 
So he does have the GT that he's putting the GT500 stuff on that he's gonna be doing quite a bit to. So everybody wants him to run a Challenger. Challenger. Everything that y'all be saying y'all want him to run, he runs. He doesn't care about running whatever. He's just, he just here to have fun. This is what the car community is all about. You wanna do it, do it. It's no ego, it's no none of the other bullshit. Everything aside, it's just all about having fun and playing with cars. We're literally just adults playing with matchboxes. We're gonna make Jeff start a YouTube channel as well. You know what I'm saying? He's got the smitten hell kitten, you know? So we're gonna make him start one as well. My boy Lex. Hey, Nip, I got this guy with a Hellcat, man. He's trying to, uh, you want to do a couple pulls? I said, yeah, sure. But I want you to do a review on my car first. So I want him to do a review on my car. Let me know what modifications he think I should get first. Um, Like, it's cool right now, but since I've been doing my little thing, I've been getting ran up by everybody. And it's one dude that keeps running up on me when I'm in my Mustang. He don't know the difference. One is a convertible, one is a hard top. If you see me in my convertible, it's a show pony. I put all cosmetics on it. I made, I did that to make it look good, not to go fast. I got 200 pounds worth of beat in the trunk. Um, I'm talking about a souped up Prius can beat me in that bag. 520 horsepower or not. But if you see me in this, I'm on the prowl. So when you see me in this motherfucker right here, I'm on the prowl. So all it took was one call from Lex and was like, hey, you wanna go do a couple runs? Absolutely, look, you see I am. Just got off work. Hey, he dried, he dried up his drip today, but y'all know how he be. Y'all know how he be, he be dripping. I'm not shaved, I'm not shaved. Y'all see the, y'all see the uh, knowledge right there? Knowledge, knowledge. Yeah, hey look. Them grays. All, it, all you gotta do is tell, I'm tired as hell. He told me, right ah, I ran and finished that up. Yes, let's go. It's like an energy drink. You be like race, he be like with it. Right, right, you guys don't even understand. I live for this shit. Hold on, let me do it in my Ben Diesel voice. I live for this shit. Oh! <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and jump in this and we're just gonna go cruise. The lighting's actually perfect. And um, let's just jump in the back roads. Hey, no cap though. This is a very comfortable car. Still, like the seats and everything is like real comfortable. There's hella room. I don't even think I moved the seat back. I just dropped it down some. There's a ton of headroom in here and uh, no backseat. Uh, it's got more than the RX-8, keep it fresh. So there's no like press and hold, none of that. You can just flip it to the modes. So I'm slippery. All right, so we got my name is Jeff. Jeff and his big cat, and I'm about to jump here. I'm gonna see what this snake does. Okay. Oh, thank you. Okay, so try to change. Just go to track mode for me. Sport. That's sport right here. There goes track. All right. I really like this shit. I like the transmission so far. This is an amazing fucking car. This is fast. My God. Boy, you got one hell of a fucking car. Mustangs have a very loose steering wheel or the Mustangs that I've driven. Yeah, my car would not make it through here. It's entirely too low. Yeah, a lot of oomph. This is 
actually perfect, dog. Like, we're not even pushing this because we're at his pace. We got to get this to the track, blood. Oh, God, yes. We can go do a track day with this, and you're really going to see what this is all about. Oh, I love this car, dog. Like it's not dicey, it's braking so hard, but it has so much control over it. This thing is outrageously controlled. We're not really pushing a pace too hard because this is my very first time behind the wheel of this car and I gotta get Mac to trust me. <laughs> so I'm not doing the most, I'm just... <laughs> I'm just <laughs> But, you know what I'm saying, we're just going through it at a chill ass pace and um, just seeing what this chassis is all about. This chassis is amazing. It actually <laughs> is what? <laughs> <laughs> I love the downshift. You are right about that. Yes. it will do it right as you think about doing it and that's what I think is so good about modern tuning and how they're making these cars do what they do um, it's so good it's doing the thought process for you at the point that you would do it so if you really want to think about just driving just going fast this is the shit there is a type of enjoyment that this has going fast you cannot compare to it so so look back to what i was saying this is fantastic because we're like mustang fans right so we love this chassis as it is and gt's performance pack 350r was like my my go-to that's what i really was like i'm getting that but now after driving this this is everything that is hella fucking fast and it wants you to go faster because that right there i did not have any issue or qualm with even my thought process so that's why i was staying close because i was like dog this is like it was just the city back then. yeah if this car has any more tire on it than it has right now everybody's gonna be in trouble check this out check what else just floated through the harbor this floated through the harbor this motherfucker was sailing you know what I'm saying? Right. So we've just taken two wildly different. Guys may say boat, but I say speed boat. Speed oh, yeah. boat, power yes, boat, <laughs> power corners. boat. Oh yeah, like a champion. So <laughs> challengers don't hit corners. Bull no, flash. <laughs> you just can't drive. <laughs> that part, because look what happened, right? Two wildly different mm -hmm. ideas. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is strip beast, right? Run everything light to light. You know now what's the you know what the next thing is? We gotta catch some of them Lambos back here. We'll reverse it. I don't wanna push the pace too hard. Jeff leads as long as we got the camera looking at you. I don't wanna push it either because yeah. the splitter does not like the Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So then we'll chill. No, and then you you'll be right there behind us. Um you'll be capturing it. God damn it. Wait, am I getting behind y'all? You'll be behind me. I'll be behind him. The camera's gonna be on him driving, and then I'll have the camera looking at him, and then you'll be catching us too. You know what I'm saying? Getting getting busy. So y'all boy, uh y'all 
See, now a lot of guys that you've been racing so far, their cars only do one thing. One thing. Their cars are set up for one thing, will only do one thing. Your shit is doing all of that. Everything, <laughs> Everything, Everything. dog. There's nothing that that car couldn't do good. Mm -hmm. Looks good, check. Drives good, check. Comfortable as shit. This is street all day. Dog, I was like, what? <laughs> All day long. It ain't like you Lambo about to catch on fire. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta get this fire extinguisher up. Dog, it did everything good. And, and like I was telling him with the braking, so we were coming through, we were coming through some of the joints hot, right? <laughs> boo, 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 boo. And I'm, I'm left foot braking it because there ain't no clutch pedal, so I'm just like this, right? Like, dog, it didn't shake, shimmy. Like, you know how some cars you like, you'll get on the, oh, this one gets a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, so it didn't do, it just went like this. Okay, we're cool. The only thing that we're gonna have to see is like I said, we gotta go to a track day and run down GT3 RS. But dog, that is disrespectful.
definitely under the speed limit. <laughs> So there is like no brake fade so far and this is like the real demanding type of driving for your brakes we have not experienced any brake fade yet i like how it's so fast and then you can just jump and do regular shit like this and be chilling Pace, but I'm not gonna do that much. <laughs> okay, Lex. Okay, Lex. <laughs> all right, I got you. All right, all right, all right. I'll relax. The owner told me to relax. Oh <laughs> that's that's my face. <laughs> Go ahead. I don't think <laughs> talk to this accord this accord is back here putting in maximum work wow i knew it <laughs> Because we were going to Jeff's pace. I just showed him my pace just now. He said, holy fuck. Yeah, shit. You want him to come back? Ooh, no. I want to do a track day. Definitely need better <laughs> tires for like something like that. I beg y'all. Stop taking those cars, putting power in them, and putting drag slicks on the back of a car that's supposed to do this. You can get traction doing what you're doing with regular tires. But what y'all are doing is fucking the car up to not be able to do this. This fucking car can do everything that y'all doing and this. You're going to see from the footage from that and from that, the difference in just the year range, the pedigree. You will not really get to see the difference because it was over with. I would have needed the widest tires in the world keep up with these motherfuckers. This was the first time I touched it, so we were just doing a car review. Okay, okay. So when we got broke up from our homeboy, then I pushed it, and I looked back, I said, he's riding, cuz! He wasn't bullshitting, he was riding, too. Oh, he was racing. Okay, H22? H22, Boy! Hey, and, and, this is, and this is why I say, yo, this is why I say, like, back road, you get a different type of driver, right? These niggas have more fun back here. This nigga was riding, cuz. Yo, he was riding. He said, I want that GT500. Hey, when I saw him come around you, I said, oh, he's active. But then hey, we were held up by the bike. I ain't gonna lie, I didn't want to be no huge dick. I said, he coming around, all right, all right, all right. Go on, get him. Go get I him. love that shit. Do you have an IG or anything? Yeah, yeah. Trent, Trent underscore EK9. Trent underscore EK9. Yeah. Yeah. We'll put that in the description for you. Jesus. Hey, y'all get to the fucking back roads, I'm telling you. Even when you're in shit like this, this is like, we took a boat. A fucking speed boat and a baby boat. and a baby boat. Because <laughs> that thing is forty two hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah, these are two heavyweights. And then a jet ski, the stand up jet skis. <laughs>
Okay, okay, okay. To close the vlog out, that was insane. That was actually a ton of fun, man. I really enjoyed driving like that. I really enjoyed the fact that that car was so capable and the fact that we just went through there with a bunch of friends. We got the cars over there. It's pretty dark, so that's why I stepped over here to the light with my black ass. But amazing night, <clears throat> a whole lot of fun. That's like, that's what I, I needed that, you know? Um, and it was cool to roll with my partners. Mike just joined up with us. He was doing something with his air intake because he's trying to drop his uh, intake air temperatures under hood. So I sent the text that we were going to the back roads, but because we got to the back roads, lost reception, and he wasn't able to get it. And it came, it sent really late when we came out. But we'll get some track action with Mike. I don't want his car in the back roads because I don't want it to hit the oil pan. But we're going to get some track action very soon. <clears throat> so just to close it out, man, we had a blast. Hopefully there's some light right there. Just to close it out, man, we had a blast. We used the cars that are supposed to be used. Even though they're really fast straight line and all that, they're really good in back roads. So I encourage everybody to just grab a hold of the wheel, go have some fun, be safe, and drive within your means. And See what these cars got to offer other than straight line. Because as you can see, they could do straight line very good. Both of those vehicles can, but they could also handle back roads. Oh, let there be light, you bitch you. So we're gonna end the vlog out and y'all have a good evening. I'm gonna catch y'all with another vlog. Hit us. Why the fuck did you get hit? Nah. Hey, get your phone. Whose phone is that? Whose phone is that? Yo, he busting at this nigga. Hold up. Yo, get down, get low, get low, get low, get low. Hey, yo, get in your shit. Get in your shit. Whose phone is this? Whose phone is this? Get I don't this. Know. Get this. Whose phone is this? Let's go. 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 Yo, unlock your shit, yo. No, go, 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 go. Go. I hope we got everything. Okay, another night ended in gun violence. Niggas just shot at us, really almost hit us, blood. Damn. Holy Hold fuck. Hold on, we going towards the niggas. Hey, it don't matter. We out. Yo, niggas really almost this guy hit. Nigga, y'all fucked around. Go, 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 go. Oh, shit. Go, you good? My foot Did you get hit or you stumbled? Oh. Turn on your lights, turn on your lights. Let's get back to the crib. Oh, we going to Mike's house? All right. Nigga, did you see the shit spark right in front of us? I heard it.